Hey Ross World, my money makes money. I was sitting here thinking about renting or buying a house. Not actually, not me renting or buying a house. I just bought a house. I ain't trying to rent or buy anything. And it makes me think about you and your situation. Are you in a duplex, <laughs> mainly in Texas, or a row house, mainly in Baltimore, or a townhouse everywhere? or a condo, or a trailer park, anywhere in the world, and you are renting, and you are renting. Now, I'm not going to get into details about this, but this is a general conversation between me and you. Rent or buy, what's, what's better for your situation, what's better for you, what's better for you and your family? Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump out on a limb here, and I don't freaking care. Renting, <laughs> you're losing money. You're losing money. At no time should you ever rent. Not if you can afford it. And what does that mean? Now, I live in a great neighborhood in Washington. I live in a, a senior citizen slash young kind of midlife people because Majority of the neighborhood was retirees, but they, they were great people. And the rest were kind of like midlife, you know, anywhere from 30s to 50s, okay? And this was a great neighborhood. It was so great, I live right across the street from a golf course. You're like, man, that's prime real estate. Exactly. So my rent for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo was $800. It didn't include, it didn't include utilities. But it was $800. I was up on the top floor. I loved it. I faced my balcony overlooked the woods, which was not a great view. But nevertheless, it was a great neighborhood. And what I also liked about it is that you can't just come in my building. I had to buzz you up. I love that. I don't like people just come to my door and access because sometimes people pop up. <laughs> you know, they don't pop up on my ass. So I love that neighborhood. I'm like, man, this is a great neighborhood. So I talked to the owner. Now, at first, these owners, they go through rental companies. And I figured out a way how to contact her. You have to be real savvy. So I said, listen, I would love to buy this condo. She said, you know, I really wasn't looking into selling. I said, well, you know, and she was a sweet old white lady, sweet. And I said, well, I really want to own something. I've been renting my whole life. I've been renting my whole life. Growing up in Washington, D.C., let me tell you this. Growing up in Washington, D.C., I have never lived in a house. The only time I lived in a house, and not, and not a lot of people know this. Now, my Cardoza family, my Cardoza family, they know about this, um, especially the people on the football team. I was in a group home. When my mother passed away, I went to a group home, and then I lived with my aunt. Okay. So anyway, I want to own something because prior to that, I lived in apartments all my life, I, all my life. So here I am in a new state renting again. So I said, I want to buy your condo. I want to start somewhere fresh. So she said, okay, I think about it. So she came with a number and I know she bought the condo years ago for about 30,000, right? Now this is probably before the neighborhood turned out to what it is today. So she came back with a figure. She said $60,000, $60,000. I said, okay, that was an awesome price. I wish you guys could see this neighborhood because it was these condos and the rest was houses. The rest was houses, okay? And these houses were gorgeous. They had great lawns. It was a great neighborhood. But I met the love of my life. So you know, anytime you meet the love of your life, things change. She knew, my wife, she knew I didn't want to leave that condo. I didn't want to leave that condo. And it almost took everything I had to move into another house, okay? And then when we move into another house, because we didn't know we were going to stay in Washington, guess what we did? I went from almost buying a condo to renting. To renting. Now, granted, let me let me go back on something. Uh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I did own a house with my ex-wife, but I left her all of that. The only thing I wanted to do was get out of, I did anything for her to sign those damn papers, okay? You can have all that, the truck, whatever, okay? So I don't even count it, and that's why I miss it. I apologize, but I did own a house prior to that.
Got it. So, needless to say, I did not buy the condo. Some people may ask, well, why didn't you buy the condo? Even though you was moving into another rental property, you could have rented that out. Well, at the time, I had neither the capital, the means, or probably the credit to buy it. Um, now, I take that back. My credit score was fine, but my debt to income ratio was pew. It was high because I just bought a new car. And anytime you get a new establish of credit, your credit score does rise. And then there's an adjustment on your credit as far as debt to income ratio. Now, I'll probably have to take out a loan. And I know a lot of you hate loans. Me too. Um, but I was trying to figure out how to cover that and also live the life I wanted to live in the other house. So I figured that it was really not financially feasible for me to live the life I was living and saving and investing and also own this property. But it would have been fine, right? Because my payments probably wouldn't have changed. So I would have been paying that loan off as I'm living there. You get what I'm saying? And then moved to this other house. But then I recently bought a house um, in, in January. So rent or buy is really, really a big challenge. It's really, really a big question. And it's different from person to person. Now, some people believe that you can save your ass off and eat uh, string beans in a can, rice or peas or beans, whatever it is, until you get to the point to buy, even if it takes you 20, 30 or 40 years. Now, I'm not telling you go out to incur debt. No, I'm not saying that. But what else? But what I will say is every day that you don't buy a house or a condo or property, every day you lose money. Now, some may not agree with this, but nevertheless, this is my opinion. Go out and buy yourself a house. Go out and buy yourself a condo. Why? Especially if you're going to incur debt, right? Why? Because if you do your research, and I know you're tired of that damn word, I know, but it's fine. You have to do your you have to do your research. Go out and do your research. The neighborhood, the crime rate, is it close to a school, a hospital, a clinic? Is it close to a shopping mall? And are things strategically placed? where your neighborhood is not overran by people. So if you have a housing community and there's a Walmart behind you, people going to walk through your shit. Okay? People going to walk through your shit. If you live on a street, right, and you're a single person and there's a school down the street, people going to walk through your shit. Whether it's parents picking up their little ones or teenagers throwing rocks in your grass. Stay off my grass. <laughs> but... That may be a horrible neighborhood for you because, first of all, you want to pick a neighborhood that you want to live in, okay? So if you're single, you may want to look for neighborhoods where there's not that many kids, okay? But you may want to look for a neighborhood with a lot of kids if you plan on selling it to a family, depending on the size of the home or the condo. So understand how your home, how your property is strategically placed in that neighborhood. Is it close to a fire department? Some people love the fact, especially elderly, right? As you get older, you have to think, well, I'm not in the greatest health. There's a fire department five minutes away. That may be a great neighborhood, depending on who's your buyer, who you are targeting. All these are factors that you need. But the point is this, stop fucking renting. Stop renting and start being an owner. Stop renting and start being an owner. It's just like investing. You heard me talk about it before investing you are now an owner and not just a laborer or consumer because when you invest inside of a company whether they lose or or if they gain you are an owner now you may not be a big owner where they're mentioning your name you're on the board of directors or nothing like that but a lot of times i get these emails and i love them because i have a voice and some people and you and you might well my voice is not that big but some people like to feel like they have a voice. And I like that feeling. I get these emails and it's about that company. Say, hey, we're having a financial meeting or we're having some sort of meeting. I'm sorry, I, I forgot the terminology. And I get to vote who I want to be on the board of directors, who I want the president to be. How do I want the company to go? Do I believe in this is the right method? 
so on and so forth. But you're voting on the people and you're voting on the methodology. You, you, you're voting on the terms. I love it. I'm a part of a company. I own a piece of that company. Even if it's one freaking stock, even if it's one damn stock, I own a piece of that company. But when you sell it, you don't have it anymore. And that's why I invest. Because now somebody said, well, what are you doing with your life? Well, I'm an owner. Well, what do you own? I own a piece of Google. Wow. What's your percentage? Uh, 0000000000000.000001. <laughs> but you get what I'm talking about. Nevertheless, I still own something. You don't own shit because you're still renting. Okay. You're not investing and you're renting. You're not investing and you're renting. So you're giving rich people more money. That's all you're doing. When you rent, you're giving rich people more money, right? When you don't invest, you're not even tapping into the money that rich people just have laying around. Rich people invest. That's what they do. Rich people invest in who? Rich people. And that's why rich people stay what? Rich. You with me? So how you expect to become wealthy or rich or even a uh, 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 hundred thousand there if you don't do what those people are doing? So you just think, well, if I just go to work all day and I work hard and I put something in savings and for a rainy day. Um, in some countries, it's fucking raining every day. So uh, especially in this type of society where everything is fucking expensive. Please. You better become an owner and you better invest. Now, let me wrap this up real quick. I don't want to be too long. When you buy a house with that loan, now I would want you to put at least 30% down. Now, I know that's a substantial amount, but that's going to kill those monthly payments. Now, depending on how much the house costs, some people may put 20000 30000 down. But save up, penny pinch, do what they have to do, uh, extreme budgeting. But try to put 25 to 30% down on the house. That's going to help you out tremendously, okay? And it's actually going to save you money. Like I said, I'm not going to the details with this. This is a general conversation. But once again, depending on that neighborhood, once you buy that house, even with that loan, that debt that you occur, your house after a year or even after six months, and sometimes even before that, believe it or not, it's going to be worth five, ten, twenty thousand more. OK, depends on how the market is moving when it comes to real estate. But nevertheless, your neighborhood can still raise your property value like mine. I bought my house and then literally three months after it was worth five thousand dollars more than what I purchased it for. So that's just a little tidbit for you guys to get in the mindset, to get in the framework of owning and not renting and investing in owning stocks and also companies. This is Ross World where we're no longer slaves to labor, slaves to consumer. This is Ross world where we are now in the mindset of buying and in the frame, the framework of obtaining and owning and investing. We are no longer renters. We're no longer laborers. We're no longer consumers. We may consume, we may labor, but we are now owners. I'm out.